Hello my soccer universe! Yes, the Premier League is about to start and again in lack of a proper season preview due to vacation I decided, yeah, let's do all my uh, one jersey from each English team that I have. It's gonna be a big one, 14 jerseys I have uh, of English teams and what's even better is all of them are from the Premier League. As for the background, yes, two English shirts, but I again went onto transfer market and looked at what are the most common nations in the Premier League and this is what I came up with. I actually think it's a very beautiful background and except for Brazil there are a whole lot of European nations there so I find this very 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 interesting. Uh, it's probably so far of all the backgrounds that I've produced for this video is my favorite one. Okay, uh, as for the choice of jerseys, I have a few clubs where I have more than one. Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, and so on. So I try, uh, West Ham even, haha. <laughs> uh, I try to go for uh, the less heralded shirts or the ones that you don't see maybe as often on my backgrounds. Um, I also had the choice of what to wear, but then I said, okay, we have European champions Chelsea, maybe that supersedes English champions uh, Manchester City. So I decided to wear uh, the 2006-08 Chelsea home jersey that I have. As always, we're going to go alphabetically. And what team we'll start with, we'll start with Arsenal. Recently acquired, this was the 10 to 12 or 11 to 13 away jersey. Um, let me put it that way. When I got it, I wanted to have, for me, Ar Arsenal has to play in yellow away from home. So I actually decided, yeah, uh, this is one of the choices that I have. I'm not super happy that the maroon and the red here are not really matching up. Maybe uh, pure red would have been better. I also think uh, typically Arsenal away jersey has yellow and blue. But it will serve its purpose and as I said uh, in my unpacking video, it reminds me of a huge win for Milan, so that makes it even nicer. What I find very interesting here is that um, within the stripes, this one is ventilated, this one is not, this one is ventilated, the other one is not. So, really nice shirt. And as I said, I said already, I'm going for the less herald one. So. I, there will not be too many uh, pure red shirts in there because I most often went for the away jersey. Uh, for Aston Villa I have only one, but I really like this one. I think this was the 12, 13 or 13, 14. Uh, I don't have, have it up in a home jer uh, jersey that takes uh, homage of the title winning season. It must have been a so, 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 so whatever. Um, I think it was then a Lecoq Sportif design in the early 80s where they took a little bit more blue. You Usually your Aston Villa jer jerseys all maroon here and then just blue sleeves. I really like this design. Uh, it is really, really nice, a little bit different. And I like that they use this striping a whole lot here. Uh, here on the sleeve cuffs, then here on the back. This is very interesting. It's just with a tape. Uh, it has still kind of the old, um, certainly not, not the old, old, but it, it is a more a streamlined crest. Um, maybe the sponsor, yeah, it's a betting co company, we know that. Uh, I love the villa tag here, and I think the best thing here is that it says prepared here on the bottom. It's a really nice, wonderful shirt. Absolutely love this one. Uh, and let's hope that we'll see the whole lot. Moving on to Chelsea. Oh, I had a little bit of choice here, Chelsea, but I decided then to go with the, and now I hope I get this right, 2001 to 2003 away jersey. That was the first English jersey that I bought myself and I did so in the, in the Chelsea club store at Stamford Bridge. I had the home shirt from the previous season and then I came out with this one. Has a little bit wear and tear. There's a very noticeable pull here. That's, I think, the only one. Also, Fly Emirates looks so weird these days, but they had Fly em em Emirates back then, the old Chelsea logo, where, uh, to me, it was always clear that this is a lion, but to some, they don't figure out this very, very, very quickly. I really like the um, tough umbra material, and this part here I got with Premier League patches. So I actually really, really like this shirt. Um, I know white is maybe not the classic Chelsea away color, but when I got it, for me, it makes all the sense that Chelsea is white away from home. So I got the white shirt and have not really regretted having this one at all. 
The next one is another Macron uh, shirt. This was, the way you see it, it was the first Macron shirt that I ever unpacked. And speaking, of course, of Crystal Palace. I want to say 15, 16, don't, uh, but don't uh, nail me down on this one. This was a surprise buy. I remember I, they had the Black Friday sale on classic football shirts. And then I had three shirts in there. Oh, already in a saltish sale of this Crystal Palace. One for really, 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 really cheap. Yes, ugly sponsor. And I never thought I would have a Crystal Palace shirt, to be honest. Uh, but as an add-on, re really nice. And that's when I learned that, yeah, I got this in XL. It is really tight fitting. Macron shirts, you always should size up. But back then, I'd, I'd, I didn't know. I would wear this a whole lot more if I'm just worried about the sponsor getting. Uh, it already has a little bit damage because for, for a while I have, have, have been wearing this. Because it also doubles up as a kind of half and half, my first half and half kind of shirt. Because here... This half and this half are completely opposites of each other. So yeah, um, I really like this one. I gotta say, I also like the crest. This is another, Macron does great work. I have to do a video on my Macron shirts. The next one, I know the season is 18, 19, and this is Umbro and it is Everton. I got this recently in what I call this program, my last order from classic football shirts. No, it is not. There is another one coming, uh, but it's more like letting me know what I can do there, uh, you know, in, to estimate customs and so on. Um, I really like the headed look of the material here. I like the Everton crest. Uh, um, I think it's really nice looking. Um, I also, and I know I, uh, an Everton fan on my channel said that this, this was rather contentious, but what really made me like this shirt is the Angry Birds sleeve sponsor, because it's so uh, out of there in many, many, many ways. Of course, I love the granddad color, but I think this is a really nice work by Umbro, uh, and I especially like, as, as I said, the headed look on the uh, main body. This is to, to me the outstanding feature and with that color you cannot really go wrong and funnily enough when this color was popular the first few times it came out in the mid to late 90s I, I, I didn't like it but meanwhile I really like this button down, button down uh, kind of crew neck color, grind that color. Absolutely love this one. I have to wear this more often. Another blue team but it's only a third jersey also from 1819 is this Leicester third jersey. I need a blue Leicester shirt. I am fully aware, aware of it. Uh, but this, I want to have one of, this, this, this I think is one of Adidas uh, better temp template, recent templates. I really like this one. Uh, other than that, it's just take this template, slap on a Leicester crest, slap on a sponsor and you have a nice shirt. But it is a nice shirt. Also got some classic football shirts. Uh, I have to say I'm very pleased with this one. As I said, I would love to have a blue Leicester shirt, uh, a Puma one, even better, but you know, even the, the one from last season, the, the blue one, I actually really, really liked. So have to see what I can do about that. But that is Leicester. Now we are in L, so Liverpool is around the corner. I said, shall we go for any of the red jerseys? I have, nah, let's do as little red as possible, as I said, as I already, and so I chose the 10-11 away jersey. I know most Liverpool fans will say Hor horrible team. Probably. However, I have to say this shirt, there's something about it. And again, I don't think that white is the traditional away color for Liverpool, but I really like this one. Uh, this one with black pants is sort of a nice look. I got it mainly because I wanted to have a Liverpool jersey from the Adidas era with the uh, full crest because the new ones I really like the liver bird just by itself but the full crest is also something that I want I want to have although there's the green missing but I think it looks actually if you ask me this this looks even better but then a pinstriping design I always love I really love pinstripes on the back no pinstripes but what really puzzles me and maybe someone can enlighten me why is the why are the pinstripes little German flags that I do not get. Other than that, I really like this shirt a whole lot. I, to me, this is a real beauty. Uh, I think the Liverpool shirts of the late Adidas era were actually really, really nice looking. Now, from Liverpool to the big rival, that's the only true red shirt that I have here. Yeah, we had Chris Palace was red, but this is the only true red, red shirt, United. I went with the one from, was this? 14, 15 must have been, yep. No, 13, 14, 13, 14. 
Uh, actually, it says here champions 12, 13, so this is a 13, 14 cha champions. Uh, I got this for dirt cheap. Five euros plus a little bit of shipping, so uh, really happy with that one. I really like this look for United. This is probably the best, I mean, I have only two United shirts, but this is one of the best uni recent United shirts. I absolutely love the classic look of the whole thing, the uh, huge crest. I mean, the other one I have, it's much, much smaller. Uh, I also liked it because I could get it with the Champions patches, which is something I did not have yet. And why did I get it so cheap? Yeah, because the guy didn't want to have, 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 have more. It's not a name uh, set that you would like up there. Tom81 doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think he was born in 81. His name is Tom. And I thought, yeah, I can buy this one and maybe at one point try to peel off that. Maybe, or well, maybe not. It's a really nice shirt and it makes great when I hang it up there. Uh, whenever United is playing, uh, this is almost my go-to shirt because I really, I love the overall look and also the sponsor. Although it's not maybe my favorite sponsor for United, it looks really nice. This is a great shirt, I gotta say. Why do I have United ahead of City? That doesn't make any sense alphabetically. Go figure. Go figure, but I have here the 1213 Manchester City home shirt. Here I went with the home home shirt because it's more recent. Yes, United then won the title, but this is my recent uh, one and this is tailored by Umbro. A really finely crafted shirt. This material is almost cloth-like. Uh, yes, it has stretch to it, but it's almost cloth-like. I wanted to have a uh, City shirt with the old Eagle Crest. Yes, it's not full color, but I have to say, it looks really, really strong. Personally, light blue with white looks a teeny bit better, but I have to say it is a really, really strong look overall. And then wh why I really got it, I mean, I could get it in a pack package, I have a nice unpacking video with it, but the main reason is because I could get it with silver and I really like that player as well. So uh, really, I think it's a well-crafted, nice city jersey and I'm quite happy to have that one as well. I just should put City ahead of United because of the alphabet. C is ahead of U. My mistake, my bad. Okay, let's go to a team that I actually like, really like, uh, mainly because it's black and white, it's Newcastle United. That's the 2001-2003 home shirt. Uh, they may have changed sponsors in, in, in between, but I, I know they were playing in the, I saw them in 2001 playing in this shirt at Stamford Bridge. So uh, that's the reason why I got it. It's not the classic Newcastle look because it's a rather white stripes, but I've said it all or, or, or in the video on this one. I really like the smart way they dealt with how do you transition from stripes here and stripes here. Well, just make here a bigger patch and then make the sleeves just half half. And I have to say it's a very smart look uh, because although this looks maybe initially a little bit weird, works overall is there you know i am predisposed to like black and white shirts but i really like this one with the collar and then the adidas striping here it's really well done absolutely love this one and yes the sponsor is a little bit too colorful for my liking um but yeah look at the current uh, the current one by the front or back for newcastle also doesn't really fit together now a very recent acquisition one that i've already worn as you know and one that I really like is Norwich, a promoted team. I got this from then from club football shirts uh, in our Mr. Exchange. I have to say I really like this uh, shirt. And I, again, I have to give, give, give him credit. He got, got it even with the back sponsor, which is a really nice touch. What I love about this is that when you wear it, uh, you know, I always thought Area is an Italian brand. You have to be careful with the size, but XL fits true to size. It's it's a very comfortable fit. But what, what, what I really like about it, it's a very thin and lightweight material. But if you look at it with all this uh, shadow uh, striping in there, it has this very ancient, uh, very ancient, uh, the old Umbro, sturdy um, Umbro. So it combines both of these. Yes, maybe, or, or it's a little bit plain, but uh, with this uh, shadow stri uh, striping, it is something interesting to look at. I actually like this clean look a little bit better than what they were wearing in the one season they were in the Premier League. And I typically do not like yellow and white, but thrown together with the green, it looks brilliant. It absolutely looks brilliant. I'm so happy to have Norwich in my collection. Um, 
it's a little spark of color that was sorely needed for the Premier League background. And I absolutely lo uh, love it. Norwich and Nantes, those are two color schemes that I actually really, really like. Okay, we have three to go. I told you it's gonna be a long video. Next up is Spurs. I need another Spurs shirt. It's pretty clear. I have only this one. It's also 2001, 2001, 2002. I think 2001, 2002. The Newcastle shirt I saw is in 2001, 2000. Uh, I'm getting it mixed up. I want to say I bought this in 2000, so this is 2000, 2001. I'm not, as I said, I'm trying to figure, figure out. I was two consecutive years in London. No, 2001 and 2002 I was in London, so this I bought in 2001. Okay. God, 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 together this makes the Chelsea shot the 2002-2003 and also the Newcastle one the 2002-2003, maybe 2001-2003. So, now, we figured it all, all out, you know, it's all up here somehow, but, you know. Um, maybe not your classic Spurs design, but I really like it. I like how the white and the navy fit nicely together. Then there's a little bit of a more of a grayish blue thrown in there for good measure. I'm extremely happy that I have a Spurs shirt with a Holston sponsor for me. Holston and Spurs go to get hand in hand together. Uh, I do like the modern crest a little bit more than this one, but I have to say, this is a really well done shirt. And from all the ones that I got in London, Spurs was not my favorite team by any stretch of the imagination, but this was for a long time my favorite shirt that I had from England because it just looks so well put together. It's a really great job by Adidas. Remember the times when Adidas actually produced great jerseys? Yep, that's one of these. Going from early 2000s, we'll go another one with the 2021. The Norwich was 2021 and we go West Ham 2021. I have not worn this now as of shoot, shoot, shooting this video. I also got this from uh, Dan. That's last season's uh, West Ham United shirt, uh, 125 year um, shirt, which I really like. Um, I have now a West Ham shirt with the Modern Hammers logo. I do prefer the other one a little bit better with the castle, but I had it already in mind that I need to get one of these. And I really like that they actually went, okay, let's only use the two main uh, colors of, 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 of the club and not make these hammers golden and so on. And actually, it really looks well, I have to, I have to say. Um, classic. West Ham design with how the collar goes and how, how the sleeves go. Maybe the weirdness of the temp the temple is uh, those little points that come, come here, but you know. Uh, minor details, also a very nice umbra material. Also a little, it's not necessarily a headed look, but uh, it has a similar feel to the Everton shirt. So really like it. Umbra is definitely among my favorite suppliers out there. Um, so yeah. You will see this a whole lot. That's a really nice shirt. Very happy to have that one. Great one out there. And final shirt. And in a way also very special because this was given to me as a gift from um, a rod which from Twitter, which is of course last season's Wolves Away ah, home shirt. I needed the Wolves jersey. Yes, Spons is ugly, but other than that, I really like this one. The season was not that, that, that great, but I like the black sleeves. I like the overall pattern on there. Very happy to have that one. Wolves was a team. I think ever since, and I think this, this must have been in the early 2000s, I think Lusk once played a friendly game in a village close by here against Wolves. And my brothers went, uh, and I was tra tra uh, traveling somewhere, and the Wolves were no nowhere at the time, but, uh, but I was kind of saying, hmm, we can play against Wolves, and so on, and then, you know, you read, read a little bit, a bit about the story, and Wolves definitely is a team that I would put in a perfect Premier League uh, setup. So yeah, very happy with this one. It's a rather basic Adidas design, uh, very thin material. Adidas is getting a little bit cheap, I have to say. So that's maybe the on, only sad part, but there's a lot to like about this, especially the pattern is kind of what they did for Spain, the Spain away, way better for the 18 World Cup. And this is of course inspired by the famous design that was in the Netherlands uh, war at uh, Euro 1988. 
I promise you a long video. You got a long video. All my, from every English team, there's a shirt. And there are a few more that I have not shown you, but you know, you will see them some other time for sure in the background. In any case, let me know which jerseys you liked in there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.